is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do this butterfly stitch beanie. I already have a tutorial uh, that I filmed a long time ago, but it's uh, not very good quality, so I decided I'm going to refilm it for you guys in HD. This flower that's on it here is my flat rose flower, and I'll put the link up below in the description box and on the, the video itself so that you can find that. Also, I'll have it on the pattern, uh, a pattern on the link, a link on the pattern. <laughs> so that you can get to it from the pattern too. Um, this hat, I made 14 rounds of butterfly. Um, I just wanted to see how it would fit if I made it a little bit bigger and uh, it kind of looks like an old, I um, uh, don't know how you say it, a clonk hat or cloche hat or something like that. The one that uh, comes a little bit bigger, kind of a vintage style looking at. And that's what it looked like um, on the, the head and on my daughter when uh, you see the, the pictures. And I'll show you the pictures of my daughter that I took with her wearing this hat. It's uh, adult size, but uh, the only difference is uh, on my, my daughter, she's six years old, and uh, this hat was just made with a couple more rounds. It's adult size, but it is a bit big on me too. So uh, I think maybe the yarn had something to do with it. So anyway, um, so you can make it uh, as long as you want. So you can make it 14 rounds like me, but recommended is 12 rounds. And when, I, when you're counting, you're counting not the ring itself here, but just every butterfly stitch round counts as one row. So just don't count the center ring here. Just the butterfly stitch rows to get your uh, total count of 12 rounds if you're making it for an adult. For a child, I would say make it 11 rounds and for a toddler I would say 10 rounds. <clears throat> so all you need is uh, one skein of worst weight yarn which is 4 ply for the US or 10 ply for Australia and uh, I went ahead and I changed the color of the brim which is an option but you don't have to um, and it didn't take very much yarn at all. You're going to need a 5.5 milli millimeter hook or size eye hook. And that's it. So grab those items and let's get started. So to begin, you want to chain three. One, two, and three. And then you want to slip stitch. Move all this stuff out of the way. Then you want to slip stitch in that beginning stitch to form a ring. This yarn that I'm using is not 4-ply, it's bigger than 4-ply, but it shows up on camera better. So therefore you can see what I'm doing. So you want to chain one, and then go working in that ring that you just formed. Right there. You're going to be using this center ring to single crochet 12 into the center ring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just scoot your stitches down on your ring if you need more room. Nine, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. After you have your 12 single crochets, no need to slip stitch in the beginning stitch. You're just going to keep going. So you're going to go into this first single crochet and you're going to pull up a loop and then just pull through one of the loops and then go into the next, uh, sorry, go into the same stitch, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the other two. And then chain one, very important. The chain one at the end is a very important part of, of the stitch itself. So again, you want to go into that same stitch where you just did the butterfly stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over pull through only one of the loops. Now go into the next stitch this time. Pull up a loop 
three loops on your hook. Hope I'm not too far away. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then chain one to finish that stitch. Then again, go back into that same stitch where you just did the butterfly stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only one of your loops, then go into the following stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. And again, you're going to go right back into that same stitch where you just finished your butterfly stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, only pull through one of the loops. Go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then you will pull through two and pull through two. So you're basically starting your next butterfly stitch in the same stitch, which would be here, in the same stitch as your last butterfly stitch yarning over only pulling through one and then you're finishing your butterfly stitch by going into the next stitch pulling up a loop then yarning over pulling through two yarning over pulling through two and chaining one and that will complete the butterfly stitch so you're basically you're starting it in one stitch and you're finishing it in the next so for this row and this row only you're always going to be starting by going right into that same stitch and at the end of this row you should have 24 stitches. Okay, so I've come to what looks like it's the end of my row, and each butterfly stitch, as you can see, I hope you can see, has two stitches, one, two. Then the next one, one, two. And you can even count them like that if you want. But this is the very first stitch, so I'm counting it, one, two, then the next, one, two. So you're counting each butterfly stitch as two stitches, Right now I have 22 and I'm here at the end of my row. Now there's a little bitty uh, weird stitch here in between. You're going to be doing your last stitch by going into the butterfly stitch as usual, the one that you just finished. And then go into this little stitch here to finish your butterfly stitch. Then chain one. Now you're going to be using this first stitch here to slip stitch in to finish your round. And you should count your stitches. You should have 24 stitches all the way around. My tail is sticking out through here. Okay, so for round, this would be round three. Let me scroll down my pattern here. Okay, for round three, uh, you're going to be now working in the butterfly part of the stitch. If you pull it apart, you can see now there's a separation by a piece of string in between, and this is one wing, and this is the other. There's another one. Those are the wings of the butterfly. To create the butterfly stitch normally, you would go in through this first wing, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through only one of the loops just like we were doing before and then in the next stitch you will be finishing it by doing the double crochet part of the stitch and I'll show you how to do that but to increase with this stitch you'll be putting one whole butterfly stitch worked in one wing and then a whole butterfly stitch worked in the next wing and that's how you will increase your stitches so You've gotten to the end of your round, you slip stitched in your beginning stitch, and now when I say the first stitch of the round, I mean this one. Not the one you just slip stitched into, but the very first butterfly stitch to the left or to the right, depending on if you're left or right handed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one, and then going into my very first butterfly stitch of the round, I'm going to go into this first wing and I'm going to yarn over only pull through one loop go right back into that same wing pull up a loop and then I'm going to complete my butterfly stitch by pulling through two loops pulling through two loops and chaining one remember that chain one is part of the stitch you always have to do it now working in my other wing 
I'm going to do a butterfly stitch worked in this one as well. So I'm going to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, go back into that same wing, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. Now I've just worked, as you can see, one butterfly stitch in this wing and one butterfly stitch in this wing. And that's how you do an increase. Now I want to do an increase uh, in the first one and then my next stitch is going to be a normal butterfly stitch which means it's worked uh, the regular way which is you go in through the first wing pull up a loop yarn over pull through one of the loops and then you'll go into the other wing pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops chain one. Now as you can see I've worked one butterfly stitch in this butterfly stitch and you can see how it created another butterfly stitch up here. So now the next one I'm going to have to do an increase. It'll be work an increase then do a regular butterfly stitch then do an work an increase then do a regular butterfly stitch. You're going to be alternating between increasing and then doing a regular one for your increase round this round. So we just did our regular normal butterfly stitch. So the next one is going to be an increase. So you go into the first wing, pull up a loop, pull through only one, loop, uh, one of the loops, then go right back into that same wing, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then you're going to complete the butterfly stitch in that wing. Now, to finish your increase, you have to use the other wing so insert your hook in the next wing, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only one, go into that same wing, and finish your butterfly stitch. Now you've done an increase, so the next one will be normal. So you're going to be using both wings to do one butterfly stitch. So you're going to go into the first wing, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only one loop. Now go into the next wing, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one to finish your butterfly stitch. That's the normal way. Now, again, we're going to do our increase. So you're going to work one butterfly stitch fully in one wing and one butterfly stitch fully in the next one. And then the next stitch, again, will be regular. Working the butterfly stitch is normal using both sets of wings. So you'll want to continue this all the way around and at the very end of your row, you should have 36 stitches. Uh, it's going to be another trick to ending the row, so I'll show you when, when I get to the end of this round. I've come to the end of my row, and if you pull it apart here, the very last stitch is kind of a weird one, but remember it because you're going to be using it a lot. So I have 34 stitches right now, and I need 36. I just did the increase of the round, so now I'm going to work my one regular butterfly stitch using this stitch here on the end. So go ahead and finish my butterfly stitch using both wings. Chain one and now you're going to slip stitch in the very first stitch of the row to end your round. And you can see you just made another one of those kind of weird butterfly stitches but it counts as a stitch. So as usual, we're going to chain one and we're going to work not in the butterfly stitch we just kind of made or slip stitched into, but the very first one of the row, the round, sorry. And for round four, we're going to do uh, an increase in our very first stitch. So we're going to work one full butterfly stitch into each wing of the butterfly. One. <coughs> sorry I've been sick last week sorry for my clearing my throat so I just did my increase which is working one butterfly stitch in each wing and then the next um, two stitches two butterfly stitches will be worked as normal so you're going to start the beginning part of the stitch and then finish it in the next wing you're going to go in to the next one and do the same thing. Pull up a loop, pull through only one, 
go into the next stitch, finish the butterfly stitch. So now you have an increase. You worked in your very first stitch and then you did butterfly stitch, butterfly stitch. Now we're going to repeat that pattern for the whole round. So next one's going to be an increase, so we're going to work the whole butterfly stitch again in the first wing and then another full butterfly stitch in the next wing. And then working in the next wing. Now for the next two stitches, again we're going to work the butterfly stitch as normal. Working the first part of the stitch in one wing, finishing the second part in the next. There's one, and this will be two. So again I did an increase, and then I did butterfly stitch, butterfly stitch. So continue this pattern all the way around for round four and when you get up to the end of the row you should have 48 stitches. Okay, again I'll come to the very last stitch of my my round and I'm going to put my last butterfly stitch worked into this weird stitch. See half of it's underneath the beginning stitch. That's okay just finish it. Finish your butterfly stitch and then slip stitch in that beginning stitch and that ends round four. Now you should have 48 stitches. So for round five again you'll want to chain one and working in the first stitch of the round which is here. Uh, for this round you're going to do a increase in the very first uh, stitch as usual and for this round it's going to be three normal butterfly stitches before each increase. So the first increase is worked as normal by putting one butterfly stitch in each wing of the butterfly stitch. And then for the next three stitches, you're going to work a butterfly stitch as normal. Which means putting the first part of the stitch in one wing and then the second part of the stitch finished in the second wing. So once you've got three completed, you've increased here, three regular, and then again you'll do your increase. You'll be following this pattern all the way to the end. Remember you'll be using that weird stitch here at the beginning to do your last stitch of the round. Count your stitches. Make sure you have 60 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, just got finished with my round five and you are done increasing. Um, you're done increasing for the toddler size, the child size, and the adult size. They're all the same. The only difference is how many rows that you add to the hat. Let me back up just a little bit. Like I told you earlier, if uh, you want a toddler, then do it for only 10 rounds. If it's for a child, you can do 11. And if it's for an adult, you can do 12 or more if you uh, want to do like I did this kind of uh, claw chat. I know I'm saying this wrong so I'm sure you'll correct me down below in the comments. I have the way it's spelt in my head but I don't ever really say the word so <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure how to say it. So anyway um, if you want to make one like this then go ahead and add uh, two more rounds. I have a total of 14 for this hat. But as you can see it still fits my daughter. Uh, if she did a lot of running and dancing around or something, it would probably fall off her head, but uh, for the most part, it uh, fits her and she likes it. It'll probably end up giving that to her. She's six. Uh, but if you want it to fit nice and tight against the head, uh, against the ears, so that they're, uh, you know, keeping their ears warm and everything, then you probably want to stick to the, the 11 rounds or the 12 rounds. It's completely up to you because everybody crochets at different tightnesses and the yarn that you use also plays a part. So once you've done this increasing part, you're done. Now you can decide uh, how many rows to go and when to stop. Now typically I just do the hat in rows until it gets to right at the forehead and at the base of the back of the head and then I'll start my rim to you know grab against the head and keep the ears and the uh, forehead warm. Now if you are making it for a toddler size and you feel like this part is just way too big then maybe reduce the size of your hook to a five millimeter instead of 5.5. You could try that. 
So it's up to you. At this point, uh, it's going to just be the butterfly stitch done normally in each stitch around. And if at one point you find out you have 58 stitches after a row or two, it's completely fine. It shouldn't really affect the size of the hat much. So what I did is I slip stitch in the beginning stitch of the round and I chained one like I did all the other rounds before. And now I'm just going into the very next stitch, pulling up a loop from the first butterfly and going right into the next and doing my butterfly stitch. Then you'll continue that all the way around. Now you're just doing the butterfly stitch as normal, which is usually worked in the uh, using both wings. So beginning one part of the stitch and then finish it in the next. So continue to do this and again you'll be counting not this middle ring but starting from the first butterfly stitch row one two three four so now we're on the fifth row and you want a total of 10 for toddlers 11 for a child and 12 for adults so continue to do that and when you get done I'll show you how to do the rim of the hat I went ahead and I did a few more rows just to show you the hat how it starts to curl up and you just continue I've done I've done two rows of just uh, one butterfly stitch in each stitch around now I wanted to go ahead and show you what you do when you come to the end of uh, your 10, 11, or 12th row. Um, if you want to go ahead and change yarn uh, color, then you can do that right now. All I did was slip stitch in my last stitch. And now before you chain, you can just grab your next color. I have something here. Say if I wanted to make it this color, you just grab that color and you slip it through your your loop and then you just tighten up the next and then you just start working with this new color or just keep with the color that you're using which is what I'm going to do here so so what you want to do is chain one if you're not changing your color even if you change your color go ahead and chain one and what you're going to do is again you're going to start with the next following stitch here and you're going to go into the first wing and do a single crochet then the next wing do a single crochet you're going to be putting a single crochet worked in each wing of the butterfly stitch all the way around and at the end of this row depending on how many stitches you have you should have 60 but if you have 58 that's okay too so just go ahead and do this all the way around and I will show you when you get to the end of the row what you okay, need to do. come to the place here where I chained one and then I started my crochet here. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in this beginning chain one here. Okay, not slip stitch. I'm going to pull up a stitch, um, pull up a loop and then I'm going to go ahead and do my first single crochet here. You can place a marker here if you want. Uh, but I, I don't see the need I can usually tell because it goes from one to two and you'll come up to here and it'll turn into three so uh, just because I'm experienced I don't really need one but I suggest if you're kind of new to crochet go ahead and put a marker there and then just continue because this will be worked in one continuous round there's no need to just end the round and I do this for a total of five rows just putting one single crochet in each stitch around so like I said place a marker if you want and just go around for a total of four more rows because this first one that you did working one single crochet in each butterfly stitch around was round one now I'm beginning round two so do this for three more rounds and then you'll be done with your hat and you will have something that looks like this I hope that this tutorial was much easier to follow since it was in HD and I hope that uh, you can uh, find a, a pattern for a pretty flower. If not, then feel free to use this one or check out uh, some other flower patterns that I have. I also have a, a sunflower, a couple of different sunflowers actually. I love sunflowers. This is the original one that uh, my original video, I used something like this and I would put it on the hat. So. It looks great like that too. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like this video and you can check me out on Facebook and like me there too. 
and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.